Okay. Y you know when I start off a video with a sigh like that, it's gonna be a little bit interesting. So, where where to begin with this one? First off, the Turismo is ridiculous. Look at this. <laughs> but so obviously this isn't just about my freaking supercharged Turismo. My school is kind of going full authoritarian now. I'm getting sick of this. So, and, wow, learn to drive. But anyways, though, we have to wear masks in our physical school. All right, pain in my butt, but we learn to adjust to that. That that's fine, I guess, because we get mask breaks. All right, we get mask breaks throughout the day. And now, we have the possibility of not getting any mask breaks anymore, because of the stupidest reason possible. You guys might laugh at this one, and I don't blame you for doing so. Got the goods. Go ahead and deliver those, dude. But, uh... <clears throat> so, first off, the 8th graders, just proven by this, this year the 8th grade are retards. And you know why? Because there's a, basically, at our art class, there's a little section you can walk out of that we call the fishbowl. And it's basically like a little tiny section, there's some benches, and there's also a picnic table. The picnic table is a pretty important role in this story, because the 8th graders, for some reason, in this place, you are in full view of the conference room, and also the superintendent. So... 8th graders lifted this freaking picnic table off the ground for whatever reason. I don't understand why they did this. Probably just for laughs. And then the superintendent came outside and yelled at them. I mean, obviously, because they're doing something they shouldn't be doing. They're lifting a freaking picnic table off the ground for no reason. But, uh... Apparently because of a stupid little reason like that, because they, 8th grade, and 8th grade is not even in high school. Okay, 8th grade's not even in high school. Okay, and now we're not allowed for, a, at least for a little bit, in our art class, we're not allowed to have mask breaks in art class now because of 8th grade. I'm in 10th grade. thing I don't understand, with, this is always a school district, at least it seems like it. It feels like this is always the case with school districts. They have a little policy, okay? One person, okay? One person does something wrong, and it ruins it for the entire school. That is not fair. I'm going to outright say it right here, right now. That is officially not fair. <laughs> like, that is not fair to anybody. Because a grade level that isn't even in high school does something wrong, it's gonna take away a mask break. We only get like two mask breaks in a day. Plus lunch, so that's like three mask breaks. If you count lunch as a mask break, which I kinda do because we can take off our we can take off our mask during lunch. But like basically three mask breaks in a day, okay? And considering there's eight periods in a day, and mask breaks you only oh, like the two mass breaks that we get in the classes are like 10 minutes still pretty decent sized mass break but 10 minutes okay so that's basically 20 minutes if you for classes of mass break and then about I believe it's 30 minutes for lunch kind of because it's like 20 minutes because of the way they have the lunch line set up so like 20 minutes Plus 20 minutes, we have 40 minutes of mask break. And now we only have 30 minutes of mask break. I mean... I'm sorry to say it, but... Actually, I'm not even sorry to say this. I don't think that should happen. This is something that's been around for way too long. And nobody's ever really... I don't, at least I don't really have... I really haven't seen anyone talking about this. The fact that one incorrect action... At least, something as insignificant as lifting up a picnic table off the ground can cause an entire school to lose their privileges of mask break. Like, that is the stupidest thing our school has done. Kind of, because, well, 
Yeah, it is the stupidest thing they've done. Because I know we're going to bring up the whole pregnant cat thing. Pregnant cat, that was the sickest thing they've done. This is just the stupidest thing they've done. Alright? Like, if anything, it hurts the school in the end. Because the parents are going to realize these ridiculous rules that shouldn't be there, and then they're going to pull their kids to the virtual option. Guess who's not going to be wearing a mask at all then? Exactly. And also, the school gets less business because they're not there. So, yeah. Like, the school might as well just go virtual at that point. Kind of, because, like, if it's only really necessary, then go to physical school because physical school if I'm gonna say this right now if you if you have the option to go to physical school then please take that opportunity to go to physical school because physical school you're gonna learn a lot more from physical school I'm just gonna say that right now and also if you're a virtual you still have to get up in the morning anyway you might as well go somewhere but I mean honestly though just the fact that something as insignificant as a grade level that is below high school, something as insignificant as them lifting up a picnic table off the ground, can cause us to lose our privileges of mask break for everybody. Like, that is the stupidest thing. Shame on you, school system. Shame on my school for that policy. Because that is ridiculous. But at the end of the day, that's just my opinion on it. What do you guys think of that? Are you guys with me? Or do you have a reason that the school could be in the right? I'll be looking forward to seeing the comment sections of this one. I'm there from Master 101 Lamborghini. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, everybody.